Okay, g'day, it's uh, Charlie again. Well, I'm, I've got a couple of days off, so um, I got up this morning and decided to um, punch out the uh, the microphone amplifier. So what I've done now, uh, we'll just do a couple of little tests here. We've got the microphone amplifier in place. Um, I'm going to, I'm using for this one, sort of in keeping with the, the, the um, I guess the, the the feeling of the project. It's a uh, a simple microphone. It's an electret microphone. Um, and we'll look at the circuit diagram in a sec. So I've got that microphone sitting in front of a uh, an MP3 player just listening to a podcast. And um, we're just doing some modulation and we'll look at the configuration of the radio in a sec. So at the moment uh, we're transmitting on 3690. Um, I've got a radio over here which has uh, got a dummy load um, on the input. And um, I've got a, a simple wire antenna which is just hanging over the back uh, near that dummy load. Uh, on the output of the the bandpass filter, so uh, if I just shut the volume on that one. Yeah, we're probably too long before we get here. Once these things start leaking out, it's not usually a, a yeah, So that's not too bad. So if I just tune the, the main radio over here off frequency, things will disappear. Yeah. So I think that's um So that's pretty good actually. So um what I'll do here I'll just sort of zoom up on the on the circuit um and at the same time I will stop that MP3 player so it's not so annoying. So what I've done is I've um, subtly reconfigured the radio. Um, just for interest sake, there goes that electric microphone there. Um over here we've got the, the audio amplifier. Um, I've also put in a very simple TR switch which just allows me to switch the 12 volts uh, between the receive circuits, in this case um, the audio amplifier and the transmit circuits, uh, in this case here at the moment, the microphone amplifier. So the microphone amplifier here takes the electric microphone and we'll look at the circuit diagram in a sec, um, amplifies that and now transmit for yellow comes across and goes into that first um, balanced modulator here. Um, it's getting the what was the exactly the same BFO frequency and mixing that up um, into our IF of uh, approximately nine megs. Um, this crisscross here that'll disappear with a um, with a relay, which will allow me to um, switch um, essentially in through the amplifier and out between the receive circuits and the transmit circuits. But for now. It's coming out of this mixer, it's going into this this IF amplifier through the filter, getting um, filtered, dropping off that other unwanted sideband, through the second IF amplifier, jumping across to this mixer, and it's being uh, stepped up using the VFO frequency out to our desired transmit frequency, and then that's just disappearing off through our bandpass filter, and then the, a very small 50 ohm resistor there load, and through our little, um, our little simple little antenna there. So that's um, just the configuration of uh, the radio there into uh, for transmitting uh, tests. Um, right. So what else is worth pointing out there? Um, we'll look at that pot there. That just um, is for setting the bias on that little electret. There's a little FET amplifier on that, which needs to be um, biased. Um, and I don't think there's anything else that we need to point out at this stage. So the circuit diagram itself is um, exactly the same as we used for, let me just push that forward a bit, it'll be used for the, the pre-amplifier on the audio amp. So if you recall, we had a, uh, a set pre-amplifier um, using a 2N3904, decided to use exactly the same circuit because we don't need very much audio gain to uh, to modulate this particular radio so exactly the same um, same figures so we came out there with a uh, an RE of 120 ohms R2 there was 2k R1 the top of the voltage divided bias was 10k um, we had an RC of 560 ohms to set that basically halfway between ground and VCC and all of the coupling capacitors and D uh, bypass capacitors were uh, 10 microfarads. 
So that's exactly what we're seeing here, exactly the same circuit. Um, the only addition we have now on the input of the of that small amplifier is this electric microphone. Uh, that resistor um, is actually a variable resistor um, and I've set that um, to be no more than 10 volts across the microphone and in reality it's sitting um, just under half a volt uh, which gives uh, quite nice modulation depth. So you can see all those exactly the same values as we had used for um, the audio amplifier. The only difference was uh, I couldn't find a 560 in my junk box, I'm using a 510 um, which is still giving me heaps of headroom there for um, for that signal to uh, to vary. Also got on the, the output that simple low pass filter um, with about a 3k cutoff uh, with that 1k and the 0 0.047 microfarad so looking for a capacitor with 473 on that so 47 and three zeros um, pick out one two three four five six so that's uh, microfarads um, also important too for the microphone amplifier is decoupling so we've got a 100 microfarad capacitor, the 100 nanofarad capacitor, as well as that 10 ohm resistor um, running back to our transmit um, 12 volts. So a very simple audio amplifier circuit there. Um, and as you heard there on the actual radio itself, um, performing really well. So um, that's really good. So I think that's probably all I'm going to be able to squeeze in before Christmas. Um, so yeah, Christmas will come, and after Christmas, I think the plan will be, or in fact, the plan will be to to set the circuit up now for um, for TR. So, uh, in keeping again with the you know the simplicity of the radio, I'm going to stick with this um, simple TR switch. So on the back of that, um, there's two poles. Uh, one pole will switch the RF between. Well, the output of that bandpass filter will then be switched between uh, the receive amplifier, uh, antenna amplifier, and what will be the transmit strip. And then the other pole for that particular switch, which you can just see, uh, and no more if I can zoom up there, is already switching um, the 12 volts between uh, receive and transmit. So there you go. Um, Probably enough for now, so I'll wish, uh, wish everybody the uh, season, season's greetings um, and a happy new year. And uh, we will start 2017, I'll say again 2018, with um, some transmit um, some transmit circuits. I'm just debating what I'm going to do that one, uh, what I'm going to do there, because at some stage I do want to um, make from scratch a, uh, a push-pull amplifier, sort of around that sort of 15 watts. So we'll just see if we're going to do that or not with this particular one, or we'll just keep it simple with some um, BD139s and a, and a simple amplifier that, which I think we probably will do, and then look to do something a little bit more exotic with the next radio. Um, but anyway, like I say, season's greetings, uh, happy new year everybody, and um, we'll see everybody in um, 2018 when we continue on with this project. Cheers all, and um, we'll catch you later. Z02, Charlie, Tanker Mike, out.